Hey, how's everyone doing today? So in today's video, we're going to talk about an AliExpress EverDrive, Chinese EverDrive that I received that I ordered online and we're going to check it out, see how it goes, see how it runs. I'm going to test it out with, you know, Game Boy ROMs, Game Boy Color ROMs, uh, Homebrews, ROM hacks, all, all, that, all that good stuff. So we're going to get into it and thank you everyone who's been subscribing so far. You're all awesome. If you haven't had a chance yet, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you everyone again. And let's get into the video. First, I'm going to go to the website, show you how it looks there, and then we're going to bring it back to the analog. Let's go. All right. So here we are on the computer now. And this is the AliExpress uh, EverDrive, Chinese EverDrive that I'm going to be talking about. Now, this is their pro version. As you can tell here, it is. $30 and it's free shipping. Now I got this about, I'll say about almost a month ago. So like three weeks ago, I just got it today. So it was pretty quick overall. That's not too bad. This is a great alternative. If you are having a hard time finding EverDrives or if the uh, Easy Flash is too expensive or the EverDrive is too expensive, this is definitely a great alternative. Obviously, I don't condone pirating software and all that kind of stuff, but it is a great alternative if it's hard for you to be able to obtain some of the other stuff or afford it. Now, this one's called the Pro version. As you'll see in a second, it has a reset button. Uh, what else does it have? Let's go over real quick. Yep, it's got the reset button like I mentioned. No power consumption, very similar to, to the actual EverDrive. And I'll show it compared to the EverDrive as well. Okay, so let's go down here. Now the SD card comes with an eight gig SD card, which is pretty cool. It looks like they include games, which I did see. And it's fairly simple to swap out the stuff yourself. You just put it in a uh, micro SD card reader and that's it. And you're good to go. Now, here we go. Like I mentioned, the biggest thing here is going to be the reset button compared to some of the other ones. Comes in different colors. This one I chose the, uh, you know, I went with the purple one just, just because, because why not? So now let's, this is fairly simple. There really wasn't much else to it. You know, $30 is not a bad price for this. And I think, you know, let's just, let's see what happens when we just search this up. Let's see, they have other cheaper ones. Here's another cheaper one, but it doesn't have the reset button for $5. Uh, what else? Not too sure. This is forty dollar one. I feel like this one is gonna look more like an actual EverDrive. Now, obviously, you can just take off the sticker and get your own sticker too. But that's what I did with the Easy Flash. It's very simple. So look, you have another one here for sixteen dollars. I can't vouch for all of these. Uh, this one I'll talk to in a second though. The one that I had was this one right here. Now, let's just move over to the analog and let's just see how it works with the analog because that's that's the, another big question is the actual everdrive has issues while well, this one does not so let's just give it a shot okay so we're back here is the aliexpress chinese everdrive here's how it looks now it's not too bad feels like a you know, okay materials i feel like the worst one here is an authentic EverDrive GBX7. Now, right off the bat, this feels 10 times stronger, so the plastic feels much better on the EverDrive than it does on this. Here it is. Here is, this is considered the Ultran version. Okay, and here is another Chinese one I have. This one is trying harder to be an EverDrive, as you can tell. At least in the back, it doesn't say from the actual <laughs> because his website. But the one I'll be talking about today is this one here. This is a 2022 edition. That one's an older one. It still works very well though, by the way. Now, let's just put this one through its paces. So, loads up pretty quick. It already came with a bunch of games. So why don't we try some of the stuff that they included already? The only thing I added was the 
was the ROM hacks. Damn. I'm gonna try Zelda. Let's go back to Zelda. Mm, the legend. You know what? Metal Gear. Metal Gear is a good one. Metal Gear Solid. Sure. Load and start. So let's see how long it takes. No, it's not gonna be as quick as an EverDrive, but I believe it works, which is uh, something the EverDrive GBX7, at least mine, does not work. And it's going. This is, if this is gonna be any issues, it's still a great alternative. I see that wasn't too bad. Break the volume. Okay. Yes, still looks very good. Now, let's test out the reset button. So, on the actual EverDrive, the way it works is you press right here. Let's see if you can hear. See? That's how you reset it. And this actually has a built-in menu, which this does not. This is... I would say this is more comparative to the, uh, let's say the GBX5. And you know what, I wanna test out the RTC as well. So press that button, this one right here, and it takes you back to the menu. So you know what, actually a great test. Let's try out the, let's try out a Pokemon game. Let's see if time changes on its own. That's a ROM hack. Let's just do crystal right here. Okay. See how long it takes to, to load this. Uh, we'll wait till the actual writing part. No, this part's taking a little bit of time too. So. So 16 seconds, that's how long it took. Sorry for the awkward silence, but it took 16 seconds. You know, let's start a new game and let's see, let's check out the, check out the RTC. Let's see, let's just do 10 a.m. And we're gonna come back to this too, because I'm gonna need to save the game to see if it actually has RTC or not. I'm gonna have to guess it won't. That battery there is probably just for saving functions. But let's see. I don't think it mentioned it on the website. No, I know. Go through all the talking parts. Sure. Random name. Okay. Okay, save. Oh, you know, let me save after I get the, the poker gear because that actually has a time on it. There we go. Let's save after this part because it'll be easier for me to check the time. As you can tell, the game is running just fine though. Okay. Yeah, essentials, yep, yada yada. Just do Sunday, sure. Sure. Yep, I know how to use it. Uh, you gotta tell me anyway. Okay. So let's save it. Savings pretty quick. No issues there. What's the uh, PokeGear say? It is 10.03 a.m. in the game. Okay, let's reset it. Again, press the white button. All right, there you go. Now, from here, let's test out some ROM hacks. Let's do the Kirby Dream Man. This is a Game Boy game. Let's test, out, let's test this one out. Again, this is... It won't be as long. 
Yeah, there you go. That's pretty quick because it's a Game Boy game. Game Boy Color games take a little longer. ROM hacks, you can tell. I know Kirby is really pink. A little more pinker than normal. I didn't make the game. I know that seems to be one of my always comments I get whenever I show this game. But look, the game works very, very good. That's, that was a graphics ROM hack. Let's see what else we have. Um, let's go to Homebrews. Let's try this one. This is uh, Tobu Tobu DX, I believe. And this one might take a little longer to write. Nope, not at all, actually. Smaller game. Pokemon games are pretty big. Can you imagine how long it'll take to load the uh, Pokemon trading card game? Actually, I, I want to give that one a try. So this is a homebrew game. Let's see how it runs. Okay. Cool. Go. Looks like this is working good. Okay, here we go. Cool. So as you can tell, homebrew games work just fine. Let's reset it and move on to the next. Next one, oh, let's go here and let's check it out. Let's test out Pokemon ROM hacks. This is a bigger one. And you know what? This is actually be a good uh, two-fold two test. So I wanted to test out Pokemon trading card game and see how, because I, I know for a fact that's a four gig game, sorry, four megabyte game. And that should take longer. And this will be a good test of the translation. So this is actually be a translation patch. Then maybe I'll try Prism afterwards. Let's do this one. All right, this one might take a little long, longer. Now, it also came with an eight gig generic, uh, you know, micro SD card. So I'm not gonna expect the highest performance out of that SD card. But when you're dealing with games like Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, I really don't expect, you know, it requires too much. Oh, look, it's finally going. All right, like I said, this is a little bit bigger game than the other ones that I tested for 16 seconds. So I'm probably looking at my double, I'd guess. It only makes sense. It looks like it takes about 15 seconds, 15, 60 seconds to do uh, two megabytes. Yeah, it's still going. You can tell it's, you can tell this way, it's still ready. Oh, now it's done, okay. Now look, the game's in English. Yep. Character's Japanese until you select it. There we go. Just do Gasa. Okay. Ah, well, whatever. Let's do a girl this time. There we go. Very sensitive, let me tell you. So, it's in English, the ROM hack works, it's obviously slower on these bigger games, but honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world. If you wanted a flash card, this is a great, great deal for $30, you cannot go wrong. Now, mind you, it will take you, it took me three weeks to get it here in the States, depending where you are, it might take even longer, so, or shorter. So, you know, keep that in mind, what is here in test? I guess that was left over when they put it together. Let's see. Let's test this last one. This looks like it's a regular Game Boy game. They let you play Mortal Kombat 1 or 2. How generous. No, okay, you just keep keeps putting me back in a loop yeah it's just a loop okay it's a weird test it's like a test game other than that 
Looks like everything works just fine. I'm sure Japanese games would work just fine too. Let's see if I can find a Japanese game to try out. Let's see. No, I thought I saw a Japanese game somewhere. No reason why I wouldn't, but I figured why not? Let's try it. Okay, I think I saw some over here. Definitely in P's, I believe. Over here. Must have been here then. Yeah, this is where I tested in the beginning, so let's try it out here. Okay, there you go. These look like translations. Let's see. It's another translation. But so far, this runs exactly as you expect a GB, a, sorry, EverDrive GBX5 to run. You know, afterwards, I did want to test out, look at that. I did want to, let's go back and test out Pokemon Crystal. Because that was the one that we talked about for RTC. If it still says 10.03, and we know it does not have RTC. There it is. Okay. I take a little bit of time. Let's see how long it takes. So the I think this one was 16 seconds. Once it gets to the writing part, at least, it looks like now it's about 20 seconds. There you go. So let's see. This will verify whether or not it has a actual uh, RTC on it. Now, I don't know if this is make or break for people. Depends on how much, how bad you want the real time clock. Some people might not even care about it. Let's see. All right. No RTC. That's official right there. No RTC. It's definitely been enough time. Okay, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. You're all awesome. And have a good night.